Now we're going to be looking at some uh, production examples of how to use passes. Um, here we've got a basic scene which basically consists of our main character Dr. Bunsen uh, running away from the evil masher train. So we're going to be using this as kind of a case study uh, on how to work with passes. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is start extracting all the different elements into their own layer. So generally it's a good idea to start with the furthest elements and move it in your scene just to kind of logically organize the passes um, conceptually, you know, similar to how it's going to be in compositing. So we're going to keep the default pass there as a beauty pass and create a new empty pass. Uh, and the first thing we want to isolate is the sky. So I'm going to name that pass sky now with it selected, we're going to do Partition New. So it's going to pull it out of the background object partition into its own partition, which let's name just to keep track of it. And now all we have to do is hide the background object partition. So hit H with it, the partition selected. And you can see we've extracted now a uh, pass just of the sky. So really quickly, we're going to do that for the remaining uh, background objects. So this one's going to be the terrain. So with the terrain selected, partition new. Let's name that as well. And then we can hide the background object partition. So now we've got a terrain pass. And lastly, we want to isolate the terrain. So we'll call this terrain pass. And from Scene Explorer, we can select the terrain and branch because it's made up of many different parts um, what we can do is just select the whole thing in branch and do partition new and that'll take all the children selection child objects of that branch selection and place them in the partition so let's call that train and we just hide the background object partition and there we've got our train pass so it was really simple to create all the different passes there for the background. Um, a little more advanced now is the actual foreground character elements. Um, so we're going to have to start isolating Dr. Bunsen now in his own pass. So first of all we're going to just get the skin. So I create a new empty pass. And now this is a little more tricky because as you can see the clothing he's wearing actually goes in front and includes the skin at moments but also it goes around behind him and actually gets occluded by the skin. So we can't simply just hide the shirt. We actually want to create a cutout pass of the skin. So the first thing we want to do is just all the background elements. Uh, we'll leave those in the background object partition, but we'll move Dr. Bunsen out of that into its own partition. So select Dr. Bunsen from Scene Explorer and Branch, Partition New. Now we'll call that actually Clothing since we're only going to leave the clothing in this pass uh, once we're done. And now the background object partition contains all the background elements. We're not really concerned with that for this pass, so we can just hit H and hide that. So we've just got Dr. Bunsen now. And what we actually want to do is create another partition just with the skin element. So with the skin selected, partition new, and we'll call that skin. So now we've got the partition with his clothing and his eyes and a skin actual partition. So what we want to do is apply an override to the clothing so it'll actually cut out the skin mat. Um, so areas where it actually blocks the clothing, it'll cut through the alpha and areas where the skin occludes the actual clothing, the skin will render visible. So what we want to do to do this is apply an override to the clothing partition so get property override and what we want to do is turn it off for certain um, shading properties and in particular we want to turn off the diffuse rendering and the specular rendering so it'll just render invisible and actually cut through the mat of the skin so let's go to add parameter and we can go under any material here under the fong and what we want to do is mark the diffuse in use parameter and the specular in use parameter. So using shift to multi-select that. And then we click outside the transient explorer. We want to add them as a parameter entry rather than a shader entry. So let's click parameter. 
And now we just need to turn them off so they won't render. So now if we draw a render region, and let's actually turn the viewport here to wireframe. So you can see we've extracted Dr. Bunsen only for the skin layer. We can actually look at the alpha, which is correct, and the RGB. So next up, we're going to start extracting specific elements like specular and shadow uh, from the skin layer.